Chip's Hole, from a cave diving perspective, presents a lot of unique challenges that don't exist in other places in the Woodville Karst Plain. There's a spot on Sheck's notes at about 9,500 feet out where he says there's a place called Lost Hope. Sheck wrote it there, and it's a potential lead. But nobody had ever looked at it. And as it's proving to be, it's, uh, it's challenging, uh, even as we get closer and closer to what should be a connection. I first became really concerned about what was going on at Wakulla Springs in 1992 because there were fewer and fewer days that the glass bottom boats could operate. I was getting overrun with an invasive plant called hydrilla. Populations were changing. The plant populations and the fish and things that lived there were changing. So it doesn't take very much in the way of either changes in water quality or water quantity to see a change in the ecology. So that's essentially what we were looking at. We needed to use all the tools available to us to, to try and make this happen. But very quickly, you know, we're, we're running out of good, promising leads to connect these things. As a team to do in Chip's Hole, we had to use the science. The geology wasn't showing us anything, so uh, we decided to uh, plan and execute uh, our first real exploration die trace. We're going to have an option. here. Entrance? Nope. No. Oh, man. Oh, no. Okay, this is going to be Turner 190. 190. Oh, oh, oh. That's a positive. That is a positive. The big, biggest challenge is people. Right now, Wakulla County is seeing a huge explosion of development. And, you know, people want to move here, and I understand and appreciate that. But if you move here, you also have to understand that you're going to have an impact on this area, particularly the groundwater. And wise decisions about land use and what goes on the land and what its impacts are or can be on the water quality and mitigating that. And so making some smart decisions about all of those things 